God bless, well peace, bless, peace, peace man, peace man, DJ talent. I'm going to talk about the highs and lows of fame, you know, like the highs is when you're right on the top of things, there's times where, you, where you're kind of, even when you're famous and stuff, you know, and sometimes you could be really, really ill in life, you could have serious health problems, but you're famous, your music's out there in the world, but mentally you just feel low, weak and very, very drained, you know. Um, for me, kind of, yeah, I look, I look back on the last, say, 20 years of my life, so 1995 was cool, I used to go to raves, listen to big drum and bass DJs, jungle DJs, go to record shops and buy vinyl, went to Florida with my mum for my 16th birthday in 1995, so I remember that well, and then sort of, that's 20 years ago, going on 10 years now, down the line, I kind of, like, 2005 was when I went on the Jeremy Carl show, it was my door into going into a national TV studio, at ITV, it was a really big experience, really nice though, kind of, yes, man, it's like you get a call and you go, someone says, oh, do you want to go on television, it's ITV, uh, morning television, but yeah, it's on a, it's a major national TV channel like ITV, and thinking, yeah, this is an opportunity, but what you remember in life is, is kind of like, like when you become famous, become big around the world, successful, you know, you start at the bottom, do you know what I mean, everyone is at the bottom, it's kind of pioneers and people, educate you in life to get you to the top do you know what I mean so like for me I was influenced by a lot of big DJs out there that used to influence me about tracks kind of samples hip-hop uh, ragga re ragga re ragga reggae and different sort of sounds jazz and stuff so it was all about influence man I think I think any anyone that kind of gets kind of successful and big in the business is kind of through influence it's through people that kind of educate you on pioneers for me you know I want when I was into music in the 90s, I wasn't a pioneer, do you know what I mean? It was like famous drum and bass DJs, famous jungle DJs, famous established UK garage MCs, jungle MCs, uh, house and garage DJs that were there. They were at the top and they were there. So they educated me on the way and producers and stuff. And they give you a good education into life and, you know, how to start the foundations at the bottom and get into the top. But for me, I think, yeah, I, I believe in life, good manners, it's all about good manners, love and respect in life, you know, if you meet people and people don't like you, it's like, you're like Marmite really, you, people either like you or they hate you, you know, what can you do, sometimes there's people out there, they hate me, they don't like me, but I'm smashing it, I'm banging out some tunes and they're like, oh, you know what man, I like DJ Talent, he's cool, so keep it real in life, but you remember in life that, like, when you're at the bottom, you're at the bottom of the skyscraper and you're trying to climb to the top floor, Man, you remember the people that sort of fucked you over and disrespected you from 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 when you're in your twenties and, and your teens growing up, and people were mugging you off like you're some sort of fucking cunt. Man, you remember that anyway. Do you know what I mean? And then and then if you sort of see people around and they're still trying to mug you off and you're fucking smashing it or you're banging out tunes, then you're like, do you know what, mate? Fuck off. Get out of my face. Just fuck off. Do you know what I mean? But um, that's what you got to do. But yeah, no, um, it's always good to have good manners. Be polite. Be respectful. Do you know what I mean? People only kind of swear and use bad language if they're stressed or like under a lot of pressure or feeling exhausted or burnt out, you know. Uh, sleep deprivation is very important. It's very good to have a good, decent sleep. Do you know what I mean? You need to sleep well and rest well, eat well, trying to have a balanced diet. I remember, yeah, the Britain's Got Talent track made me very famous around the world globally, but the, the pressure started kicking in. I think it was, when was it, 2013, 2014, I did a remix of Susan Boyle. I just dream it's one of the biggest artists, platinum selling artists in the world. You know, I started to suffer with panic attacks and anxiety. I was remixing a lot of famous produce artists out there, big pop stars, but the panic attacks and the nerves were kicking in. I was walking around, I was shaking, man. I was a bit, oh, a bit on edge, and my emotions were up and down. I'd be in the studio remixing Susan Bourne, I'd start crying emotionally. I was feeling sad, you know, it's an emotional, deep song, you know. So, yeah, in this industry, you, you, you know, for me, yeah, I, I had I had health problems when I was 20, you know. I was very materialistic at 20, you know. To me, it was about gold jewellery, loads of clothes, man. But now it's not about that. I sort of see people in third world countries suffering for shirts getting made and like like gold and diamonds in third world countries. People are suffering out there. So it's consumer uh, products, man. It, it comes from the ground. It's a natural earth material. So we have to kind of not be greedy and materialistic. You remember, you've got to remember in life when you're dead, and, and your time's up, man. You, you, you can't take your, your clothes with you. You can't take your car, your house with you. So, you know, it's just, it's just something that's around that's 
around you while you're alive and you're living, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for me, so I'm just sort of saying highs and lows, yeah, when you're, when you're on a high, you're under a lot of pressure, you're banging a lot, a lot of tunes, your confidence goes out the roof, do you know what I mean? Um, there, is a, there is a connection between arrogance and depression, you know, there is a, a fight, what, what, what depression is, it's kind of like, um, your, 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 your anger is turned inward, so you're feeling sad, so when you're depressed, you're kind of like, you're really upset, so rather than being angry and, and like expressing it out there and swearing and kicking off, you know, you're feeling very sad, emotional, suicidal and down, um, and when you're kind of arrogant or you're kind of, uh, you're swearing a lot or you're angry, it's because you can't handle the pressure you're under and you're not dealing with it well, so you kind of flip out and you swear and you use bad language and you feel angry and you're stressed out, so... But the key point in life is to be grounded, to keep it real, be polite, treat people with good manners and love and respect. It's the main thing in life, you know? So if you're feeling kind of depressed and stuff, listen to some nice music that cheers you up, read a book, go and watch a nice film, have some ice cream, that's what you do. If you're feeling sort of angry and fiery, then it's best to kind of go for a walk around the block for an hour, or go, go for a walk for an hour, or go for a jog or a run for an hour, and kind of take your mind out of that explosive zone and listen to some very chilled, relaxing, calming, beautiful, chilled out music. So yeah, you need to uh, you need to know how to handle depression when you're feeling low and sad, and you need to know how to handle anger when you're angry, how to deal with it, control it mentally, and stimulate that mind from, from your, your mood swings. So if you're feeling low and sad, talk to someone nice about how you're feeling and get your emotions off your chest and open up to people, don't keep it inside. It's, when you keep your emotions inside, you get depressed and it doesn't help you have a breakdown and you're sad, you know. It's, depression is not the way. Talk about what's going on in here to professional people, doctors, nurses and close friends. When you're angry and stuff, stressed out, go for a walk around the block for an hour, listen to some music, read a book and take your mind off things and get out of the situation. And in life, you know, you are like Marmite, you know, people either like you or they hate you, you know, you can't please everyone in the world, but at the end of the day, if people don't like you or, or someone really disrespects you in public or cusses you and stuff, just say, look, man, fuck off, I'm not interested, walk away from it, just get out of my face, fuck off, and walk away from the situation. There's no need to kind of retaliate and fight and, and just, just walk away, man. If someone's disrespecting you or hating you, walk away, man. It's all about good energy in the world, love and peace and good energy. I suppose, man, with being famous, you used to really piss me off, man, when people used to sit there and analyse me, or oh, why are you making music, or, you know, why, why are you, uh, or, or I don't like that remix you did, or why are you putting that on Facebook, why are you putting that line, or, or look at you, or oh, look, look you're, you're trying to make it in the world, man. It's like, at the end of the day, I'm an artist. I don't, I don't live out there because I want to be famous in the papers and do what I'm doing. I do it because I enjoy it. I'm an artist, and I like to bring love and peace and happiness to the world and I say God bless, love, world, peace and happiness. I'm not here for ego, arrogance and stuff. I'm an artist man. It's like saying to someone, do you like painting? Sit there and draw a painting and paint a beautiful picture or do you like say pottery and stuff? You sit there and you start moulding something with the shape of your hands in pottery. I love being an artist and being creative. It's good to stimulate the mind to keep the mind artistic and creative and, and express yourself out there. Well, one more thing just before I rock and roll out this interview, you know, you're kind of, there's two types of people, you're kind of, you you become a pioneer yourself, but but being a pioneer, you're influenced by other people, you might be influenced by a DJ that's, that makes drum and bass and has a hip hop sound in their music, so you like that sort of hip hop rap sound, or you like scratching, which comes from the culture of hip hop, do you know what I mean, and, and rapping, and rapping and emceeing sort of comes from the hip hop culture as well, like DJs, Back in the day in America and Chicago and stuff around the world, they used to kind of play, DJs would play a track and they'd scratch and then, and an MC or a rapper would spit on the mic when the DJ's scratching, kind of like from the hip hop scene really. So, But two people in the world really, you're either a kind of a pioneer and you do your own thing and you've got your own mind, but you're influenced by other artists out there and different people out there, actors, artists, and artists out there, or you're someone that just follows the crowd and you go around arse licking people Oh, so that person's got these shoes today. Oh, fuck, I'll buy the same fucking shoes as that person. I think it's good to have your own mind and your own freedom and, and be, have your own spirit and, and your own soul and express yourself and be happy. So, yeah, I think it's good to have your own mind and do what you want to do and don't do what people tell you to do. Sometimes people can tell you to do something 
or they say don't do that because they're jealous, they don't like what you're doing, or they're jealous of you, envious of you. So you got to do what you like doing at the end of the day, and you got to be yourself, man. You live for being yourself. You don't live for being someone else, do you know what I mean? Because someone else is wearing a fucking pair of shoes. I'm not going to go and fucking buy a Zach's pair of shoes. I kind of like doing my own thing, but some people like that. Oh, that person's got those shoes. I'll go and buy those shoes today. Fuck it, man. Whatever, man. Anyway, all I've got to say, God bless and world peace. Keep it real. Keep it humble. Be grounded. Be, have love and peace in yourself. And remember one more thing. When you meet a famous DJ or a famous person out there, don't just go and grab your camera and start taking pictures of people because that's invading someone's body space. If you want to ask for a picture with a famous person in the world, you say, excuse me, hi, would it be possible to have a picture with you today? Uh, I'm... I'm a big fan of your work, I like what you're doing out there, can I have a picture please? The famous person then will look at you and think, hang on mate, this person's got good manners, he's got respect, yeah, okay, it's cool, he can have a picture, it's cool. And then after you have a picture of a famous person, say, thanks very much for the picture today, God bless, have a nice day, take care, best wishes. Always say please and thank you and don't invade people's body space because when you invade body, people's body space and you crowd them and you're in their face, it kind of, it makes people like, fuck man, get out of my face, you know. Best to kind of take a step back from things, have good manners, respect, and say, please, thank you, kind regards. Got, so, so good manners is, is, is always a good thing. And don't invade people's body space because people get a bit cr cr uh, crowded and claustrophobic, like you're in a lift. You're kind of, you're, sque you're squeezed into a lift and you can't get out like, ah, like that. So give people space and speak to people kind, uh, kindly with good manners and listen to what people have to say. And um, yeah, and take in what people have to say and, and think about what people have to say rather than just rushing in and doing things. All right, I was going to say to the people in the world, God bless, world peace, love, best wishes, kind regards, peace, God bless, be happy, be good and have a good heart. Best wishes, peace, DJ Talent.